if you are bullish on the Solana narrative and the AI Deepin narrative, here's an altcoin to consider. Today, I've teamed up with IO.net to bring you a deep dive into their project. We'll explore the core aspects of IO.net and see if it lives up to its hype. Remember, while this video is sponsored, the goal here is to provide an educational overview to help you understand the project better. None of this is financial advice, and my work on this channel is separate from my work at Certic. The AI market is growing super fast, and GPUs are becoming essential. By 2030, the GPU market is expected to be worth $1.7 trillion. Similarly, the machine learning market is predicted to grow from 70 billion this year to about 800 billion by 2030. This huge growth means there's a big demand for computational power. GPUs have become extremely valuable. We're seeing this with Nvidia, with chips costing $30,000 each. This is where io.net comes in. They call themselves the internet of GPUs and their io token is central to this AI computational revolution. IO.net is a decentralized GPU sharing network, similar to projects like Render and Aether, but they offer GPU clusters, which are crucial for running complex machine learning algorithms. This makes their service more powerful and capable of handling advanced AI tasks. There are three main components to keep in mind with IO.net. You have the IO Cloud, the IO Worker, and also the IO Explorer. The IO Cloud is a decentralized platform for renting GPU resources, which allows AI developers and companies to access high power GPUs on demand. IO Worker is a service for earning rewards by supplying idle GPUs. This lets anyone with spare GPU capacity to contribute to the network and earn passive income. IO Explorer is a dashboard for monitoring and selecting GPU resources globally, providing detailed metrics and efficient task management. Since IO.NET is built on Solana, it's always a good way to capitalize on Solana's potential if you believe it has a positive outlook for the rest of the cycle. Solana is fast, it's efficient, and ensures quick and reliable transactions, which enhances IO.NET's scalability and performance. The IO token is central to IO.NET's ecosystem. It's got a fixed supply of 800 million tokens. 300 million of these are allocated as rewards for GPU suppliers and stakers, distributed over 20 years. This deflationary model helps maintain the token's value by controlling supply. There are three main components here to consider. The reward distribution, the deflationary model, and the fee structure. 300 million tokens will be used to reward GPU suppliers and stakers over 20 years. This is done to encourage long-term participation. The emission rate starts at 8% in the first year and then decreases by 1.02% every year, gradually reducing supply to increase the token's value. Users can pay fees in USDC or IO tokens. There are incentives to use IO tokens. GPU renter fees are 0.25% and USDC payment fees are 2%. The goal here is to create demand for the IO token. One of the first things that stood out to me when working at IO.net was the strong backing from partners like Solana Ventures, HackVC, and Multicoin Capital. They raised over 30 million at a 1 billion valuation. This financial support helps them execute their ambitious project. As mentioned earlier, IO.NET's value proposition is the GPU clustering, which is essential for complex machine learning tasks. This attracts major projects like Render and Filecoin who need high power GPUs. IO.NET's decentralized model offers lower costs compared to traditional cloud service providers, making it an attractive option for AI developers and companies. I'm a big fan of the articles written by Ting of Chain of Thought. Tang used to be head of NFT research at Delphi Digital and now puts out a lot of content around AI and Deepin. A recent article from Tang highlights the increasing importance of GPUs in AI advancements and the ongoing supply challenges. 
IO.NET addresses these challenges by creating a decentralized network that democratizes access to high power GPUs. The project is still in its early stages and widespread adoption will take time. The success of IO.NET heavily depends on the continued growth of the AI and GPU markets and the competition from other decentralized GPU sharing networks could impact its market position. Also, there was a security breach where a scammer added 1.8 million fake GPUs to the platform using a SQL injection attack. This incident has led IO.NET to implement stronger security measures like auto zero authentication at the device level. In general, IO.NET presents a compelling solution to the GPU supply crunch with innovative products and strong backing. Being built on Solana adds another layer of potential if you believe in Solana's positive outlook. However, as with any investment, it's crucial to consider the tokenomics and market conditions carefully. What are your thoughts on IO.NET? Comment down below. And if you found this review helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.